Baby May Mace, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I like your hair. I hate you. May Mace, that's not true. You're not going to look at me? No, I'm not going to look at you. Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Parker, Arizona. What am I doing here? Well, I stayed a few days at the Blue Water Casino. Met up with a bunch of friends. Went and had a all-you-can-eat steak and seafood buffet for 30 bucks. Uh, let's just see it. Let's just say I see it more as a challenge, and uh, they they know me. Uh, I was probably blacklisted. <laughs> I don't think they'll ever let me back in. But uh, I know a few other people that uh, put a dent in. Uh, their seafood uh, buffet as well, Donnie, <coughs> Mike, <laughs> Randy. <laughs> we we all did our best to uh, make sure we got our money's worth. But uh, after a few days at the casino, we all decided, hey, let's go out and get a little closer to the van build and uh, secure our spot. So let me show you. Here's the camp. Who we got here? We got Randy. We got Atlanta Mike. I call him Atlanta Mike. I see uh, Blue Van Dan. I see Wren. Kimber. Got a nice spot. Got a good phone signal down here. Somebody was nice enough to leave us some firewood. So we're going to have a, a good fire for at least a couple nights here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Martini, who's got you? Uh, who's got you? Atlanta Mike's got me. I like the way he talks. <laughs> well, honey, talks like we do. What's wrong with everybody else? Um, honey, I just didn't get any learning, baby. That's all. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody else talks like a Yankee, except Atlanta Mike and you. <laughs> what do you have to say, Tucker? Baby. Nothing? All right. Baby May has been awful sweet on Atlanta Mike. But uh, she thinks there's some food being cooked there in uh, Randy's rig. But earlier we were in uh, Blue Dan Van's spot over here. And Martini is uh, awful sweet on him. And she just went running in there to him and jumped. So Blue Van Dan, he's arrived at camp. And the wolf pack is saying hello. Martini's awful sweet on him, but uh, she's also, also sweet on uh, turkey and, and broccoli. Pork, pork, yeah. pork, pork, pork loin. Pork loin, yep. Solar cook. <laughs> Demi I her. She likes you most of all, don't she? Oh God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Atlanta Mike's got his uh, ProMaster sunproofed, sunproofed, sun and bug-proofed. So he's all set, and I'm facing pretty much east to west, trying to keep the sun off of me. But I'm gonna get this mo Ms. America the motorcycle off, and uh, if I don't, I won't ride it. But it's been kind of warm. I run the the uh, furnace a lot last night. I've been running the air conditioner all day. My batteries are down to about 65%, uh, and I hear it's gonna be uh, around 90 degrees here soon. So we're getting the best of both worlds, hot and cold. Well, it's the next morning at camp. We've all been sitting around talking and whatnot. Um, it's quiet. I slept like a baby. 
we got up, I fixed breakfast, and uh, Randy's been out here cutting firewood. <laughs> Take teeth out. Take my teeth out. This morning I'm camping with Paul Bunyan with the Green Bay Packers hat on. He's venting some frustration. Still got a little bit more cutting to do. Atlanta Mike here. He let me use his uh, milk carton, milk crate, put on the back of Miss America. So uh, I'm going to go into town and get some groceries. I have ordered a new camera mount off of eBay. Be a better, I can get the camera a little bit further away from my helmet. And I've also ordered a, a microphone that can go up in my helmet so uh, I can film and talk at the same time. But it hasn't come in yet, so I'll uh, I'll have a helmet built soon to have a, a moto vlog as well. But uh, just not today. It's not ready. There is a Walmart and a Fry's here in Parker, but I like Food City. It's more of a hometown kind of a grocery store. I can't remember. I can't remember the last time that uh, I went grocery shopping on my motorcycle. I don't have a lot of room, but I got a little room. I can make it fit. It's an older store, but it's stocked really, really nice. Heck of a produce department. Of course, my biggest weakness. That's disappointing. No Dave's bread. Uh. Well, I've got three bags of groceries. Don't know if it's gonna fit on the back of Miss America or not. Fixing to find out. Well, that shocked me. It did it. Dun dun dun. Okay, made it. Pan around right quick. Let you see what I'm seeing. The baby Maymay's barking. Beautiful. If you like desert, you gotta like desert. Well, nothing flew out. Not even my corn chips. My bread might have got a little mushed. The dogs are uh, getting comfortable. Look at that Tucker right there. He knows how to re relax. Yeah, I heard yeah, his name. We're talking about you. <laughs> Randy and Kimber are fixing to move up to the van build. They went up and saw Jamie just a minute ago and. Jamie's needing a little help doing some organization and whatnot, so we're fixing to lose some friends. But he won't be he won't be too far. Well Randy, I'm glad you got to count with me. Yeah, for like 32 seconds. <laughs> Lick him in the mouth. Is that what you did, Martini? Yeah. You spit that spit yeah. that old taste out. Giving him martini kisses. That tastes worse than Tucker. Well, it's been a couple hours since the last clip. Put up my groceries, sit out here with my friends. But thought I might go walking. It's so nice. It got up to like maybe 85 today. It's starting to cool down a little bit. The wolf pack, they've all got their 
harnesses and leashes on but I uh, wanted to show you this right here again I bought this in Snowflake Arizona at a flea market turns out the guy watches the channel and it's anti-rat pro you spray this on your wires under the hood of your RV or your van or your truck and it's supposed to keep the rats from chewing on it this is 95,000 no 9,500 capsaicin SHU I don't, I'm not familiar with these type of units and measurements but a capsaicin isopropyl alcohol anionic and or non anionic surfactants so uh, the guy told me that uh, you just have to use it one time a year so uh, now that I'm back out here in the desert shoe fly I do plan on uh, do plan on trying it maybe we'll have several vehicles around here have like a, a spray party I've been kind of hesitant to spray it so far because um, well if it's really powerful me and the dogs may not could stay in the RV if I do it so I believe we're gonna build up the nerve and do it because with the class A it's it's more difficult to get the light in there And uh, I believe you go to anti, you can buy it online, antiratpro.com. Let's see if it has a, because people ask me about this from time to time. Yeah, here's the email address, antipro.com. So you can learn a little bit more about it and see what they have to say about it. Haven't used it, but I'm going to soon. Okay, let's go for a walk. All right, everybody's got the leashes on. Walking back here. Back here to the mountains behind camp. This uh, ground has a lot more rock in it than sand. But these washes will mess you up. I'm not real comfortable riding on this. I gave it a whirl. I think you need to have three or four wheels instead of two to be on it and be safe. The road goes up on top of that ridge. Wouldn't it be an awesome place to camp if you had the right thing, the right RV to get you up there? Maybe I had knobby tires, I could do better. I think I may replace the tires on my bike with more aggressive tread. Well, there's Miss Gypsy way over there. Tell you what, been out here for three or four years now. Just when you've seen you, just when you think you've seen every type of hill or mountain or type of rock, it changes just a little bit. It's got its own kind of beauty. Stuff we don't see so much on the East Coast. But I, the longer I'm out here. The more I keep thinking the same thing, I wished I would have grown up out here. And uh, gosh, motorcycles and three wheelers, and it's just an endless, endless place to ride. All kind of places. We just we didn't have that much. It's mostly private land on the East Coast. Look at that gas line running through here. It's on top of the ground. Good job, baby May Mays. Good job, Tuck Tuck. Even Martini's doing pretty good. You're glad to get out of that old RV and do some walking, aren't you? Yeah. Let's head back. It's beautiful and rugged. I think about all those settlers and people coming out here for the gold rush having to cross this land never seen anything like it i wonder what they thought about it no trails hardly 
Definitely no roads. Definitely no roads to begin with. Some tough people. Let's go this way. We made a little detour instead of walking right back to the RV. looking rock. Come on. It's like it's in cement. Okay. I hope you enjoyed hanging around camp with me today. Going to the grocery store, sitting around with friends, doing a little walk around camp. It's just everyday life out here. But uh, I'm glad I'm here. And I'm glad I brought you with me. All right, I'm going to end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.